Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brahma School of Music. My name is Lopuyo Paulo Lukawi. I'm very happy to have you on board. Today, I'm going to teach you my Astro Music Composer app, how to use it. This is my Astro Music Composer app. I'm going to use my Android phone because it, it can be used only on Android or also on Apple. So if you still don't have this app, you can go to Google Play Store or you can go to App Store if you're using an Apple. So you can register it my Astro and it will just show you and it will give you the maestro which has this this clef the g clef it can also have the there is also the one which has the the g clef all are working so i can press that maestro app and we go this is how when you open it it looks like this maestro the, the next generation of music yeah something like that and then it shows you something very new like this uh, <clears throat> yeah in this app here we are seeing the there is the stuff there is the g clef there is the time signature which is four four that's the time signature that you start with so if on the left hand side on the top left hand side there's the first column there there's the sign for for the this sign blue sign for settings you press it it shows black and below it is file so you press that file you can see these other ones these other the, i'm seeing brahma school of music maestro android my music 6kg those ones are the ones which i've already done so you press this blue one below new music and this is how it shows you it shows you on the up there you can see untitled that means this thing has no title at all on the right hand side is where the composer's name should be so it has written maestro uh here you can see the stuff is the same way i'd seen before there's the acoustic grand piano is the instrument that the the initial or the default instrument it is just by default everything here is by default the tempo there is 120 the crochet takes 120 and it's allegrato um this is basically how it looks like so first first of all we want to to write to put this thing to be ours to customize it so we are going to press the untitled but where it's written untitled you touch that untitled and then the file name there you write what you want to do i can write i can write maestro android i think that's the best maestro android or let me write maestro tutorial tutorial uh -huh. yeah i've written that way then i have to write the title of this that was just the file name so that it can be easy for us to search it um i can write what in the title i can write brahma school of music brahma school of music i can write there brahma school of music you are seeing the way i'm writing that's brahma school of music now the title the subtitle you can write something on the subtitle as well let me write maybe i can write um tutorial as well i'm writing tutorial that's how then the other it is written there by default maestro but you you are supposed to write your name so i'm called paulo let me write my name because i'm called paulo it's there um I, this tempo is too much 120 i can take it to let's say 80 the time signature here is 44 you can still change it to 48 to 42 let me put 24 that is the simplest eh? i'm not choosing for you but i'm choosing so that you see how it can be chosen after all that you can now come and press done on the left hand below on the left hand side there's the blue stuff it's written done that one now will take you back to where you are you are you are before but you can look at the right hand side below then green they are written add stuff that was just one stuff so if, if you press done like this it will take you here so the name is there on the right hand side paulo the title is the abramo school of music and the subtitle is tutorial the tempo has become andante that's one no that's 80 acoustic grand piano if you want to change it you can just touch that acoustic grand piano and here here you can see this acoustic grand piano you touch it and then this was the one which was finally there in the beginning <coughs> but you can still change to either this you can change to this you can change to this to this all these ones are instruments you choose the base and yourself let me use cello for no viola viola does not sound well let's use cello for that matter uh after that you can see here below is done and on the left hand side and on the right hand side is, is add stuff so you can press add stuff and after adding that stuff so this is now you can see up here it is written ash one that is stuff one cello and then ash two here is acoustic grand piano and it is the second stuff and this second stuff if you look here you can see the treble clef here is a treble clef but now we want to change the clef let's put a, a bass clef but you can choose any other clef here yeah? you can use the baritone the tenor these c clefs here you can use any so and then you press down like that you press down also here you can also change the, the time signature if you want to you press any of these clefs 
any of these clefs after pressing that there's this place here that's where the time signature is then you choose the best time signature for yourself now <clears throat> i wanted to use c uh let's just use c but you could choose g you could choose e you could choose a you could choose e uh you could choose any that you wanted and for this matter i'm not going to choose any other let me just use this one the one which was okay let's use e that was that is e fine after doing that you come and press done here and it takes you back you see now you have put g the key e in the g clef and now in the f clef also you just press the f clef and then you come also here you choose key e and it is done that's how you can put the key signature for that matter now if you want to put your melody there's the on the top they on this you start from the left hand side there's the blue part the blue there's the second part which shows the the addition and subtraction signs and it also shows the playing parts you choose this third one here you press it and it shows you the notes that you can use uh, let me choose the this one first this is a um a semi brief that's a semi brief for a well note i can start from door here that's key e get that key e i can also put another one just up here this one is another one oh so but now the problem is a time signature so we want to make sure our time signature is is worked on or it's being followed by the what you are writing here so on your top right hand side the, there's the last the last column the second below it there's somewhere it is written undo with a, a green arrow you touch that undo once you and the, you see the, the notes have reduced you touch it again another note is removed you touch it once more another note is removed if you continue touching it it will be undoing whatever you have already done it will be reducing like that in that order so let me use a, a minimum in the first place i put a minimum in though that that's not do i can still touch it and there, there are these yellow yellow ups and downs here you choose this upper one and it takes you to do uh you can choose a crochet and now mm, you put there the the bar line has just put itself alone or you could also put yours you can touch the, this bar here um and then you choose the the first one in the first column the one which is below there you choose that one you put there and it's there that's how you can write this you can also play this you can press you see the on the right hand side on the top right hand side the first row the second one here this one then you can now play with this one this green one you hear no me again <clears throat> yeah fine you can also you choose to put the instruments the the, the metronome or the the tempo and you press this you see where you just press this blue thing part here you can stop it um on the next column like that's the in the second column this you can see the second the second row i mean in the there's the first row up there and the second row is the one which is below in the second row the second row the second column you can press that and it shows you on you see it was off like this now if you touch it you press it comes on so if you touch it you are hearing the tempo is there that's fine that's how you can write that you can also harmonize you can write on the bass side you can still put something on the bass side if you want to that's like let's say do that was do this is where it's put here me okay let's put yeah me it can be good i love in the alto side you can put so that is so uh, we can also separate them you can put like this and you choose the layer part here yeah but this one has gone far you can remove it here <coughs> You can still put this this one you make sure it is it is in the same place so it, it matches it can be put like together like that or you can touch it and then you see this somewhere written match and somewhere written layer so you choose layer if you want to separate them and it becomes like that which is still correct you can remove this one bar here one bar line yeah this one is it can suggest for you that it it needs a rest and you you put it if you want to um i want to take you to settings of this thing look on on the right hand side this part of settings you press it and then you follow the second you leave the first row follow the second column if you follow the second column the second last this one here it's written settings so after pressing it it takes you first to system this is the system how it looks like you can decide to put the drawing bar line by yourself manually or you can put auto it was auto that's why when i finished putting the minimum it just generated the bar line itself without doing anything you can decide because when you start to play they start a cursor which moves along the notes as you play so you can decide to put them to loop like this like when you playing it it plays until when it goes through just somewhere and when you're supposed to repeat it it comes back again to to repeat it or you can make it to pass once like this um but looping is the best magnify is like if you want your um, 
instruments or these things that these numbers that are here to be magnified if you want them to be larger if you want them to be smaller if you want them not even to appear you choose off the, the playback cursor is here also uh, it can also be used to play only on the first stuff uh, it can be played it can be playing with the shorter notes only it can be for the whole measure and it just shows it in the whole measure and it plays you can choose any here is the keyboard keys when you are playing the keyboard keys are shown it can either be c4 only c only all c's all keys hi you can ask decide to hide all but all keys are the best you can show all you can decide to use a dark mode or a, a white mode i think the white mode is better this is the screen direction you can choose any i decided to choose this one the first one here i don't want to to use the other one if i use the other one it will disorganize the work at the moment but you can still choose it you can use the any language that you want english german korean portuguese spanish any other language that is here you just choose this is english i don't want to change to another one metronome can be click can be triangle i i used bongo because it does not make any noise generally there there's spacing here if you want the the spacing of your notes to be default like this somehow large minimum this one is too small squeezed it can be a pro it can bring a problem using the when you are writing the lyrics you can also put manually the space but i like the default uh <clears throat> the staff gap is also here you can decide to put a very long a narrow staff gap like the first one here a small one which brings the the staffs closer this one at least extends a bit this one extends wider and this one extends very very wide which is not good i think default is the better or the narrow one for me you can also have your own way the here is the measure number or the where you want the bar line to look like if you want to put the number of the measure in the first in the first place before you end the bar uh, or in every bar line you can choose that you it's for yourself you just choose what you want here are the symbols uh, those ones are up there you can choose your text here you can put allegretto if you want to if you can put, you can put the tempo which is already there in the stuff and the, you add your own text here in this, the instrument name the instrument names are here uh, you can decide either to be to make it small to make it some or medium to make this one large to make this one alpha somehow disappearing and you can set to hide the instrument names here if you press that it has already hidden if you go back there it will you it won't show so here are the fonts for the title fonts for the subtitle and the fonts for the other that is basically everything about this after all doing all this um you can see on the middle on the middle of the i know you are seeing this screen like this like the there's the right hand side the button effect and the the left hand the left hand side I mean and the right hand side you are seeing the suggestions and then below it you are seeing the playing parts in the playing parts you can go down there on the going to the right hand side there's that arrow which is po pointing inside you press that arrow once and it takes you back you see the instruments are not seen ah huh? fine fine Kavisa it is fine. You can decide to use that one. You can still add more. I'm just putting notes randomly. Yeah, I was just putting notes randomly. I'm not following any order. So this is basically how you can use Maestro, and it's very simple. It's not much. It's not disturbing. It is simple. Uh, thank you very much for being on board with me and i would like to recognize the my music hub people i've i've met my music hub people i've i can say i i recently got to know that they are really following these things uh thank you very much for being with us and we are always welcoming you to Brahma School of Music and always be there to comment on our videos or be there always to like our videos, be there to subscribe to this channel and to share to your friends. Thank you, thank you and thank you very much, thank you very much. Have a good day.